Recently, John said to me, since using CPAP to treat my sleep apnea, amazing. I no longer snore, so my partner has allowed me back in the bedroom. I don't wake up gasping for air, and I no longer fall asleep while driving. But I don't want to be shackled to this machine forever. My partner and I, we can't smooch in bed. And how do we go away on holidays? I heard that surgery to make my airway bigger can cure sleep apnea. Should I have the surgery? As a sleep doctor, I hear this constantly. John is one of 1.2 million Australians who suffer from obstructive sleep apnea, which costs the hospital system $57 million per year. Unlike CPAP, surgery cures sleep apnea. Sounds great, doesn't it? But I won't wish surgery upon my worst enemy. Did you know that it's painful for weeks? Surgical success is just one in four. Worse, there is currently no way of telling who will succeed. My PhD will enable accurate prediction of who will or won't respond to surgery. How? By measuring the underlying factors, the physiology that cause sleep apnea. A pilot study by my research team showed by understanding how these factors cause sleep apnea, accurate prediction of who would respond to surgery could be accomplished. My PhD project will validate these findings, thereby uncovering a tool predicting who will respond to surgery with certainty, not lottery. It will free hospitals of unnecessary surgeries and spare patients like John unnecessary anxiety. With this tool, Monash Health alone estimate hospital cost savings of $800,000 per year. Imagine, how many more millions will be saved within Australia? Indeed, worldwide. And that, I believe, is worth losing sleep over. <laughs>